Hey everyone, Percy Jules here. So today I just wanted to talk about something that many of us will run into every once in a while, especially if you're using a lot of plugins. Now every once in a while you download and install a plugin, but it just won't show up in your DAW. It just doesn't show up in your plugins list. Frustrating, right? I actually had this happen to me last week and I just couldn't figure out what it was. Well, I figured it out in the end, but it took me the entire afternoon, so that is no fun. So today I'm gonna to talk about three things you can do that will hopefully save you from losing an afternoon over an issue like this. Okay, so the first thing I would recommend you doing is to check your location management. And what I mean with that is this. So let's go up here to Studio One and then Options and then Locations and then VST Plugins. All right, now this is a list um, and what this list represents is all the locations on your computer uh, that Studio One will um, check if it scans for plugins. So which means that whenever it scans for plugins, it is only going to check these locations. And that means that um, whenever, you, uh, whenever you install a plugin and you install it in one of these locations, you should be fine. Well, most of the time you should be fine. Um, however, if you store it in another location on your computer, Whenever Studio One scans for plugins, obviously it will not find it because it's not in the locations that it will search for you. Um, so the first thing to do is make sure that whenever you install a plugin, make sure that you either store it in one of these locations or if you store it somewhere else on your computer, make sure then to add that particular location to this list so that next time that Studio One scans for plugins, it will also search that location. And how to do that is very easy. To add a location is to simply click uh, add, then search that location and select folder. So that's all there is to it. So that is location management. Now, sometimes it happens that you install a plugin and you've done everything right. You put it in the right locations, in one of the locations in the list, but still Studio One is unable to add the plugin to the plugins list. It will find the plugin, but for some reason it's unable to add it. Um, one example of why this might happen is that there's something wrong with the authorization of the plugin. And there might be some other reasons, but this is one example. And it will, some kind of error will occur. And if this happens several times, then eventually Studio One will actually blacklist that plugin, which means that the next time that it scans for plugins, it will actually ignore that particular plugin. Now, luckily, there's also something you can do about that. If you look up here, uh, this button says reset blacklist. Well, kind of speaks for itself. If you press this button, then Studio One will kind of release all the plugins in the blacklist, all the blacklisted uh, uh, plugins. And so the next time it will scan for plugins, it will again also scan those plugins. And hopefully if the issue has been resolved, it will still add it to the plugins list in your DAW. So that's the second thing you can do is to reset the blacklist. So as I mentioned last week, I downloaded and installed a plugin but it wouldn't show up in Studio One. I checked all the locations very thoroughly, but it just wouldn't work. I reset the blacklist several times, but it just wouldn't work. Talk about frustration, right? Well, apparently there is at least one more thing you can do, and luckily that worked for me, and that is this. So let's go to uh, View, and then Plugin Manager. Now this is the plugin manager and if you look down here there is a button which says remove plugin settings. Now again it's pretty self-explanatory I guess so if you press this button a lot of stuff will be reset and hopefully that will solve the issue for you. I know it did for me. Okay, so that's the third thing you can try. So again if you have an issue with an, a plugin that you installed that 
won't show up in Studio One, then in my advice would be to first check the locations. If that doesn't solve the issue, then you might want to try resetting the blacklist. If that still doesn't solve the issue, then you might want to try this. And again, hopefully one of those three methods will solve your issue for you. Okay? Well, that's about it from me. But if you know of any other methods of solving issues like this, then please let us know. So leave a comment below. Okay, so that's it for now. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you very soon.